Happy Holidays Divorce Network. I'm Cooperative Divorce Attorney Erica England, part of the Split Decisions team. Our mission at Split Decisions is to help you have a better divorce life. Many people are impacted by divorce, even if they haven't been through it themselves. It's very likely that you have a loved one who's going through a divorce now or has been through one in the past, and you might wonder, what are the ways that you can support them through the holiday season and give them a wonderful holiday, even as they're dealing with these particular stressors? So we have four great tips for you today about how to support a loved one through the holiday season if they're going through or have gone through a divorce. You can find our blog and you can also, if you are divorced, find a great video on Happy Holidays for Divorcing Families at splitdecisions.pro. So visit us there. Step one, reach out and acknowledge to your loved one who's going through a divorce that this must be a difficult time for them. Even if they've been divorced for five years or 20 years, if it's just been a couple of weeks, the holidays create so much nostalgia that it is particularly difficult to go through a holiday divorce and it's a really nice time to have someone call and say, hey, I'm thinking about you. Are things going okay for you? It costs you absolutely nothing to call someone and I know that when someone calls me at any time like that, it's incredibly meaningful. So if you've got 60 seconds and someone you love who's divorced or going through it, this is really the best cheapest, easiest thing that you can do to show your support. The second thing that is absolutely lovely to do is to create a new tradition for that family. My sister buys my children their own little coffee cups every Christmas. And so every year we have hot cocoa in those coffee cups. And then for the rest of the year, every Saturday morning, don't tell anyone, I give my children a little bit of coffee and milk in those coffee cups and we drink coffee together every Saturday morning all year. We would never have this tradition if my sister hadn't started the tradition of giving us those little coffee cups every single year. So you may not even know what a wonderful impact you can have in someone's life just by starting a small tradition. You can take your niece and nephew out to Starbucks for hot cocoa or shopping for a gift for mom and dad or out to see the Nutcracker, up to the snow, whatever it is that your time and budget allows, doing something special for this family and creating a tradition for them at a time when they might have lost some of their important traditions is so meaningful. On the other side, it's so important, I wish I didn't need to say this, but I do, to just shut down the drama. You are the least important person in someone else's divorce. And so your feelings and thoughts about the divorce process, particularly if they're not nice ones, matter to no one. And if these are not supportive, generous, and helpful thoughts, please keep them to yourself particularly during the holiday season when people, divorce people especially, are already stressed, it's not a good time to have to rehash any of the problems that you have with significant others who are divorced or their family members. It's not a good reason if someone's divorced to cut them off of your holiday Christmas card list. I know this from personal experience, it makes no sense that all of a sudden you don't get Christmas cards from half of your children's family. Shut down the drama this holiday season. Think about who is important in this family, the parents and the children. And think about whose feelings are just really not important. That's yours. If you put them first and you're able to keep your drama to yourself, everybody is going to benefit. Last tip is gift wisely. For children of divorce, they might be very concerned about whether they'll get presents this year. And for parents who could be having trouble even putting together necessities for their children, they're worried about how do I give my children a gift this Christmas when I'm not sure if I can put food on the table. So if you are already planning to give gifts to a loved one or a loved one's children, 
then calling ahead and talking to the parent about what they need, what opportunities or experiences, what necessities or luxuries are the children interested in this holiday season. And that way you can give them some gift that's in alignment with their current needs and desires. That matters a lot when someone doesn't have the things that they need and the things that they want. And it's incredibly thoughtful of you too. If you have children that are spending time over the holiday season with one parent and then the other, you can also give those children a scrapbook or a notebook that they can take back and forth between mom's and dad's houses and write down their memories of the holiday season. Then you can fill that notebook later with any photos that you have of your tradition with them or that you got at family Christmas so that at the end of the season, your child has a lovely little record of their holiday and it's not broken down in mom's house and dad's house. It's just their experience of their holiday. Children love pictures. My daughter's in first grade. She loves writing and reading. So children of this age in particular are a really great target for giving that scrapbook or notebook that they can chronicle their holiday experience. This holiday season, it's so kind of you to even be thinking of how to support your loved ones who are going through divorce. And I hope that these tips help you out. So please remember that the first thing, the easiest thing, is just to reach out and acknowledge that this might be a hard time for them. Start a new tradition, however small, to give the children bright new memories and so that the family doesn't have to compare this holiday with last holiday. Shut down the drama. Be generous and kind with your positive spirits, with your supporting words this season. And then also gift wisely. If you're planning to gift, then call ahead and find out what the family wants or needs to really make the holiday special. If you're interested in supporting your loved ones through other aspects of divorce, you can get a lot of great information at splitdecisions.pro and also follow us on Facebook at Split Decisions. We appreciate very much you turning in and wish you a happy holiday season.